Never have sent Lepic off by himself. My bad. Hey, these Volgus punks are responding really quickly. Looks as if their commander isn't to be taken lightly. Let's eliminate the defense forces here first, then secure the gate that leads to the wrecked ship. I really hope Lepic can withstand it until then. Captain Survival, you need to hold them off until we get there. You don't have to tell me. If I die, 44th Grenadiers will be completely wiped out.
Watch out. A high-level Volgus has been detected. Important information from the right ship. Ah. Descendant, the Volga ship in front of you appears to have crash landed on its way to Ingress. The flight log has been completely erased, but the date of when it ends is close to the date when the Volgus first appeared. What is also important is that this ship was loaded with huge, powerful energy equipment. At first I thought it was the ship's engine or power source, but I soon found that theory to be incorrect. Do you remember when the Hagios Prime Hand's ruins 
erupted with radiant heat. This ship is similar. The central part has a thick coating that can absorb radiant heat. Such a measure would not have been necessary unless inversion technology was involved. That means that this ship was equipped with an inversion device. Descendant, I believe I know where it might have been installed, if the device has not been destroyed or removed from the ship. I'll send the potential location to your receive. Try looking there, Descendant. The location that the guide sent is full of Volga signals. Let's spread out and take control of the area. Now it's my turn, you Volga's bastards. Power grid blankets that area. Since we don't know which defense facility those bastards are going to get up and running, let's just lay waste to all of them.
to add them to my grenade throw. Seems like a great idea. Reinforcements are headed your way. They've also deployed elite units. Engage them carefully. Power supply to the enemy has been cut off. Incredible. Detected. Engaging. The 
main facility defense force has arrived. Now that we have entered the facility, I can clearly feel powerful inverted energy. I can even detect iron heart particles. Yes, 
I am certain that the Vulcus performed the inversion process here. That's good news. So we can destroy the Ironheart here then? I hope this ends well. Descendant, I detect inverted energy coming from that direction. It appears we definitely won't need the radiant heat absorption coating here. I understand why they moved the equipment here from the ship. This is an excellent place to cool it. But there is something odd about it too. Considering the high temperatures of the inverted energy we observed in Hagios, it is impossible that a glacial cave like this could have stayed intact throughout the process. It does not even show signs of melting or falling. Sorry, but there's no time to play detective. A large Vulcus force is heading your way. This system is set up to be controlled externally, just like in the prison. The Volga's commander said something about guarding. Something's not right. I have accessed the system that is into this facility via the terminal. I'll try to discover anything I can. that this is the inversion machine that was loaded onto the ship. But everything is destroyed. What happened here? Then there's nothing we can do. Wait. They let us open the trail in the vicinity database. I'll get to them. Right now, getting out of here safely is priority number one. 
Locating the inversion furnace comes second. Understood. I will try to find someone to link to the emergency transmission signal.
requesting updates from descendants at each front. Eugen, does anyone need to be evacuated from the White Knight Gulch? We can't get a full picture on what's happening in the combat zones. Valby, use your waterways and check on the injured. Roger that. Submerging. There isn't much time. We have to hurry. Descendant, thank the heavens your injury is not serious. I received the report from Ajax's team. Honestly, when I first saw that abandoned device, I thought it was all over. But then, we discovered another facility by investigating the first one. An inversion furnace. HQ has also identified a converter outside its typical range through a terrain scan. Perhaps we'll find clues related to the furnace there. No. It has to be there. The only way to turn the tide of this war now is to destroy the Ironheart. We must find the inversion furnace and finish the operation as soon as possible, before Corel realizes. Wait! It's Kyle! Nell, patch him through! Standing by for connection. Verifying signal optimization. Go ahead, Kyle. Our troops will arrive in Albion soon. We're systematically withdrawing forces from the front line. Everyone has defended calmly and well, executed the planned retreats, and bought us time. The number of casualties is lower than expected. We're approaching the final moments. We've received a report that Corel has descended from his ship. Kyle, Marcus and the Investigative Corps are headed your way. Their support should help you hold out a little longer. I'm grateful to Marcus, but we plan on fighting using only the power of the Descendants from now on. We're here to achieve victory, not take everyone down with us. And it's better to fight as a small group within the Prime Hand's ruins. Descendants don't have to shoulder the entire burden. If things go south, I want you to give up the Ironheart and retreat immediately. <laughs> we can't just end the show when we keep attracting such huge audiences. We'll try to buy as much time as possible. Over and out. Luna! This won't do. If we're done with resupply and repairs, all units move to the location of the converter. We're running out of time on both fronts. We have to hurry. Got it. Let me tack on one more arm component before we go. Do you want, like, an ice cube or something to snack on? Ugh, let's just get going. Do you know if we'll get to join a void and use that battle? units. I have your missions for this operation. As you know, our goal is to locate the inversion furnace. However, there's something you need to know. The defense commander of this fortress is called Kulan. Kulan is known to have single-handedly defeated multiple colossi. In other words, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them by himself. Lepic. You and I will protect the team from Kulan. We have to block main routes and secure favorable terrain before he appears. The rest of you, help the guide search for the inversion furnace. Guide, do you have any intel that might be useful? I'm sorry. I detect a high concentration of inverted energy in this area. But I am still finding it difficult to identify the exact source from this proximity. Don't worry. Sometimes things can become more clouded the closer you get to them. Like that for me with Aisha. Whenever you go into the void to look for her, I'll help you. I'll hold you to that. Commence loading.
fluid from the Colossus has damaged the control panel, and I can't connect to it. We'll need to destroy the panel, and bypass it via the emergency control device. Emergency control device. This facility used to be an auxiliary of the furnace, which was built to melt colossi remains. It included a process that made it easier to remove and melt parts such as equipped weapons, remnants, and battlefields. I'll check the core facility. control terminal nearby. If you connect me to it, I can search for more information.
The Volgus were melting colossi remains to make highly enriched energy material. Heating the iron hearts using energy containing this much entropy would be more than enough to turn them into antimatter. So this is the truth behind inverted energy. Can we use it for the inversion process, Gaia? No. This facility only melts colossi remains. Heating the iron heart with the results of our process happens elsewhere. It must be physically connected to this place. I'll scan for intel in the control terminal. the normal range. We need to lower the output even further. Seal off the system to maintain the current output. It's done, this end. I've taken over the facility. 
facility permissions. Now I can control it as I like. If our enemy manages to destroy this facility, it won't make any difference that I've assumed control of the system. We must completely eliminate the Vulcan's forces. of the inversion furnace. The facility is in the basement of Fortress Command. I have detected colossal remains that have been melted by the furnace flowing in that direction. But our enemies have already established a line of defense between here and the command facility. The commander of this fortress must be waiting for us. Descendant, do you think we can break through this Vulgus defense line? With the forces we have. I regret pushing you into a corner, but I believe this is the only way. We'll be fine, guide. Right now, we have no choice but to get it done. All units, converge upon the point of attack at the fortress's defense line. Maintain your position there, ready for our final operation. 